coffee break. What's going on on Twitter? I should just get monkeys to write it. I've been in a really crappy writing run for, I want to say going on three months now. I've written the same sets of scenes possibly 20, 30 times. It's going absolutely nowhere. I'm very much hung up on beginnings. Beginnings are really drummed into you as aspiring writers in terms of if you don't hit in the beginning, no one's going to ask you to read a partial, no one's going to ask you to read a full. Agents and editors will just kind of go, eh, and then that'll be the end of it. It's kind of stuck in my head. And so right now I'm really frustrated about writing something new. And this is something new. Um, I've seen a few people who've already read the arc saying that they can't wait to read the sequel to Velveteen, but at this point there is no sequel to Velveteen. I hate to break that to people. Um, I, it's not even something I'm working on. The next book in my contract is something that we're deciding on now and I'm stressed out about that. There's lots of things going on. So it's probably a good idea to have a discussion about ruts. How does a rut happen? And how do you go from being perfectly confident in what you're doing in terms of writing, perfectly at ease at it, to being completely disconnected from it? I think there's a lot of stuff that goes around it and it gets back to behavior. I used to be a psychotherapist and I could tell you that every behavior serves a purpose, which tends to make me overanalyze everything and myself in particular. When I'm looking at my own run and how long I've been in it particularly, I'm really also tracking the notion of me kind of focusing on how Velveteen is doing how it's sort of slowly getting out into the marketplace and, and um, people's reactions are occurring to it. And I tend to be really kind of focused on that. And I think that, that should have been something that I am not doing so much now, but I still am. I still do that. Even after, this is my fifth book. I'm working on my sixth book right now, but it's really hard to tell. I mean, we're, the publishing industry is a really difficult industry to kind of get your head around because it changes so frequently. When I say rut, what do I mean by rut? What do I do? I mean, I do a lot of those things that I, I started the video with. I openly look for distractions so that I don't have to sit in front of the computer and try to write because it's been so difficult for the words to actually come out that I don't, I just don't feel confident at it. There's a piece of this behavior that's been built up over time. It's become a habit. And so I'm going to need to break the habit. That's actually the first step in getting through a rut, is breaking the habit. Because you tend to replace the, the good behavior with all these crappy behaviors that you then don't like and then you, you beat yourself up about. So how do you go about breaking the habit? First of all, you take a look at your scheduling, how you schedule out your day, how you, what, what you fill your time with. And in my case, it's like watching reality TV shows, The Vampire Diaries in the morning, those kind of things. I also have, in the last year, spent a great deal of time working on losing weight. I've lost 70 pounds at this point, which is a lot to lose in a year, but it also becomes one of those things that consumes your mind. So in those times where I, um, where last year, maybe, or even, you know, 18 months ago, when I would think about writing um, and, and think about all those things that were, gonna, were going into Velveteen, and all of the descriptions and the, and the dialogue and everything. That would consume my, my thoughts when I was being quiet. Well, now my thoughts are consumed by dieting and exercise and weight loss. And it's so all consuming that it's very difficult for me to think about anything else. The, there are certain moments where I realize now that I, um, I sort of let that go and can actually start thinking about writing. Unfortunately, those are times where it's very awkward for me to, to write. One in particular is when I'm exercising. And if I go on a long walk, I mean, I'll walk maybe five miles. It could take an hour and 20 minutes, depending, because it's very hilly kind of area around here. Um, but during that time, I undoubtedly get ideas for stuff to write. But I, it's, just like the, it's just like those ideas that... If you're going to sleep when the ideas come and you think you're going to remember them in the morning, you never do. And so, yeah, you've got to be able to capitalize on that moment of idea creation. So what I've decided to do 
is I've downloaded a program where I can do voice memos on my iPhone and I'm going to take those with me so that I can actually um, dictate uh, sentences as I'm walking into my iPhone. I, it's something new. I, I've never done that before. I'm going to try it. The other thing is, is that I'm looking for inspiration in other places. I picked up a big stack of books yesterday that have um, male protagonists in them and um, these are both adult and YA books, and so I'm just kind of getting a feel for um, how different authors deal with male characters and, and how, they, how they go about entering into story, that kind of thing. Because, yeah, I'm, that's it. I need, my, I need my opening chapter to be a really big hook. The other thing is, is that I'm also sp spending my day doing a lot of internet crap. And it gets back to monitoring what, how Velveteen is doing and, and promotion and things like that. It's, I, um, I tweeted a, a week ago and I said, damn, damn this writing, it's getting in the way of my effective internet promotion. It's, it's crazy. The thoughts, the thoughts that go into your head are insane. The writing needs to come first. So I, I've decided that I'm going to do at least two writing sessions a day in which I will do absolutely and totally internet isolated. I'm turning it off. I'm going to go Mac Freedom, whatever it takes. So the other thing I'll be working on is changing up my environment because I have a tendency to go places that also have internet. So then I'm tempted constantly to get into the internet. This is going to sound like a 12-step group for internet addicts if I'm not careful. But there were places where I used to go when I was writing Velveteen. I used to go to art museums quite a bit because I was really influenced by art and particularly dark, grim art. And um, that's something that I haven't done with this book. It's like I've been in a race to propose it, to, to get these chapters together so that my editor would love it so I wouldn't have to do a different proposal, that um, I've forgotten all these tricks that I use to get into a mode of writing and creativity. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on freeing up time and making sure that I'm using, a, using time effectively for writing. And... Um, and kind of really challenging my self-talk. That's the other thing, is that I, I tend to rationalize my bad behavior, my habitual bad behavior, and that's gotta change. Every time I start thinking to myself about how I should be exercising rather than writing, I can make time for exercising later. Anything that's important to you, you can make time for. This could be writing, it could be reading. I, do, I need to do more reading. I find that I do my best writing when I'm reading a lot rather than mindlessly watching TV. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. If any of this stuff is helpful to you, I, I hope that that's the case. I think that um, when you get into patterns of behavior, and that's what ruts are, patterns of behavior, it's really important to analyze what you're doing with your time and sort of tracking it and making sure that um, it's being used effectively. I think that there are a lot of things that we do during our day that are sort of detrimental to both our health, our um, mental well-being, and it's, it's easy to get stuck in those patterns and those cycles and keeping it up and keeping it going. I've been doing it for three months and I'm not gonna do it anymore. So yeah, I hope this has been helpful and that's all.